Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial about similar shapes. Now two shapes are similar if one shape is an enlargement of the other shape. Okay now here is an example of two shapes that are similar. Now although one shape is clearly larger than the other, these would be seen as similar because all of the corresponding angles are the same. For example, comparing these two angles, they're both equal to 120 degrees. Comparing these two angles, they're both equal to 30 degrees and comparing these two angles they're both equal to 30 degrees which is enough to say that these shapes are mathematically similar. Here is an example of two shapes that are not similar and it's clear to see this because the corresponding angles are not equal. So although they look similar these shapes are not mathematically similar. Now one of the ways we can describe how shapes are similar is by their lengths. Now when we say that one shape is an enlargement of the other it means that we enlarge the lengths of each side of one of the shapes in the same proportion or ratio to get the lengths of the other shape. So let's have a look at an example. Now in some questions you'll be given the fact that the shapes are similar but in other questions you may have to figure this out yourself by checking that all corresponding angles are equal. So looking at these triangles we've been given, we can say that these two angles are equal because they've both been drawn with a single arc. And we can say that these two angles are equal because they've both been drawn with two arcs. And as these are triangles and the sum of the three angles in any triangle is 180 degrees, it must mean that this remaining angle is equal to this remaining angle. So since all corresponding angles of each shape are equal, it means that these shapes are mathematically similar. Now if two shapes are similar, there's a special value called the scale factor, which is a multiplier that allows you to scale or enlarge similar sides of similar shapes. In other words, it allows you to find the length of one side by multiplying the other similar side by this number. In order to find the scale factor of lengths, you always need to make sure that you are comparing the correct sides okay now by looking at the angles and the sides of this triangle you should be able to see that this side is similar to this side now as the scale factor is a multiplier we can work it out by asking ourselves what number do we need to multiply by 4 to get 6 and this can be done by dividing 6 by 4 which gives you 1.5 so what this means is to scale or enlarge the length of 4 to 6 we need to multiply 4 by 1.5. And because these shapes are similar, it means that 1.5 is the scale factor for each of the sides of the triangle. So in order to get from this side to this side, what you need to do is multiply all the lengths by 1.5. In order to get from the larger triangle to the smaller triangle, what you need to do is divide the lengths of the larger triangle by 1.5 okay so given these two triangles we might be asked to find the value of x so by noticing that the side we are looking for is similar to this side what you'll need to do is multiply 3 by the scale factor which is 1.5 to give us a value of x is equal to 4.5 units now if we were given that the length of this side was equal to 5 units and we were asked to find the value of y. As these are similar sides, what we'd need to do is divide 5 by the scale factor of 1.5 to get that y is equal to 3.3 recurring units. So let's have a look at the next question. In the diagram, xcd and xab are similar. Find the scale factor of the two triangles. So here we've been given a diagram and we've been told to find the scale factor of the two triangles XCD and XAB. Now we've already been told they're similar, so we don't need to check this by looking at the angles inside the shapes. Now as both triangles are similar, it means that there is a scale factor that we can use as a multiplier to get you from one length to 
a similar length on the other shape. Now, in order to calculate the scale factor of length for these two triangles, it's important that we compare similar sides. Now, looking at this diagram, these are the pair of sides that we should compare since they clearly look similar and we know their lengths. So to find the scale factor, we do 18 divided by 12, which is equal to a scale factor of 1.5. And although we got the same scale factor in the previous example, just note to yourself that the scale factor of lengths can be any value greater than zero. Let's have a look at the next part of the question. Calculate XC. Now we've been asked to find the length of this side. Now in order for us to do this, we need to determine which side of the triangle XAB is similar to the side XC. And then what we're going to do is use the scale factor to find the length XC. Now looking at the diagram, we're given these arrows, which means that the line AB is parallel to the line CD. And from our angle properties, we should know that the angle at B is equal to the angle at C because these are alternate angles, which some might refer to as Z angles. We can also say the same for the angle at A and the angle at D. Now, in order to determine which side is similar to XC, sometimes it's helpful to redraw the shapes, as you can see here. So what we've done is we've left the lower triangle as it is, and we've redrawn the triangle XCD by separating it from the shape below and rotating it. And by comparing the shapes now, hopefully you should be able to see that the side XB is similar to XC. So now we know this, all we need to do is multiply XB, which is 14 centimeters by the scale factor 1.5 to get the XC is 21 centimeters. Now, some of you might have quite quickly assumed that XB was similar to XC, since XB was the only other diagonal length that was known. And in this case, you would have been correct. However, I'd always recommend that you do check by applying what you know about angles or by trying to draw the shapes you're given in a different position as we did here to make it a lot easier for you to see. Let's have a look at the last part. Given that AD is equal to 25 centimeters, find AX and XD. Okay, so now we already know that the line AB is similar to CD and the XB is similar to XC. So by process of elimination, AX must be similar to XD. And since we know they're similar, we can apply our knowledge about the scale factor in a slightly different way this time. And what we can say is that the ratio between AX to XD is equal to 1 to 1.5. Now using this ratio, if we take the sum of parts, we get that the number of parts is equal to 1 plus 1.5, which is equal to 2.5. And as the line AD is equal to 25 centimeters, it means that 2.5 parts is equivalent to 25 centimeters, which is the length of the whole line. So to get the value of AX, we need to do 25 divided by 2.5 to get the value of one part. And then we need to multiply by one since AX represents just one part of the line AD. And evaluating this, we get that AX is equal to 10 centimeters, okay? Now to find the value of XD, using the same method, we divide 25 by 2.5 to get the value of one part, and then we multiply by 1.5 as XD represents 1.5 parts of the line AD, okay? And evaluating this, we get that XD is equal to 15 centimeters. Okay, so it's useful to know how the scale factor works as a multiplier, but it's also useful to know how it works as a ratio. Okay, so I hope that was useful for you. Do join us in the next tutorial where we'll be looking at some more involving problems. Until then, keep up the good work and I'll see you soon. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up Leave your comments down below and subscribe to this channel so you'll be the first to know when we release our next videos.